Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on today, Ascension Day. We have reached 40 days after Jesus' resurrection. Today is one of the most important days in the ecclesiastical calendar, with white or gold as the liturgical colours for today. Luke describes the event most fully, telling us Jesus takes his disciples to the Mount of Olives, where they witness him ascend to heaven. This act fulfilled Old Testament prophecies, and Jesus referred to it during his ministry as returning to his father. Well, I'm not qualified to elucidate further about the ascension. It has massive eschatological relevance for us as Christians. It's a day full of significance for us. Suffice to say, it symbolises the end of the Easter season and occurs 10 days before the sending of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. So, Christ leaves earthly life and returns to God to prepare a place for believers and to act as intercessor for us. Apart from the magnific magnificent paintings by Giotto, Rubens, Rembrandt, there are other interesting paintings that represent this story of the Ascension. I would encourage you to go and look them up. See what happens when you search for disappearing feet. This should reveal some paintings of the Ascension that, that they look completely extraordinary to us now, almost Monty Python-esque in a way. But you may come across the 1958 painting of the Ascension by Dali. That tests our sense of perspective, as does his one of the crucifixion, of course. But most of those paintings were done in the 1500s. They're quite unusual now when we look at those. But strange as it sounds, as medieval Christians, we would have been revering models of Christ's feet today. And we would be looking and revering the nail marks in his feet. One such famous emblem is depicted in the roof of York Minster. Go and look it up. You'll be fascinated. It's really interesting. See who else is there as well in that one. And so to our opening prayer. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Join me in reciting the first verse of a very famous hymn. Immortal, invisible, God only wise, in light inaccessible, hid from our eyes. Most blessed, most glorious, the Ancient of Days, Almighty Victorious, thy great name we praise. Hear the words of John Donne from his poem, Ascension. O strong ram, which has battered heaven for me, mild lamb, which with thy blood hast marked the path, bright torch, which shinest that I the way may see. O oh, with thine own blood quench thine own just wrath, and if thy Holy Spirit my muse did raise, deign at my hands this crown of prayer and praise. So let us pray and give thanks. Jesus, Son of God, who was lifted into heaven, we worship you with great joy. Jesus, Son of God, raised far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. We worship you with great joy. Jesus, Son of God, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away and whose kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. We worship you with great joy and a prayer of praise and confession. God of glory and love and power and possibility, 
we celebrate with you the work of Jesus, his humility and care, his love for truth, his commitment to your plan up to and through and beyond his death, his achievement of reconciling the world to you. We celebrate his homecoming with you and with all the angels of heaven. We bend our knees in awe and we lift up our hearts and our hands in worship. Forgive the lack of worship in our lives. We are grumpy and self-centred. We refuse to lift up our eyes to see you and to open our ears and hear your wonderful commission. And so our lives fail to speak of you and to serve you. Today, your day of glory, draw us to yourself. Accept and heal and empower us. Draw us into your life and your work so that we may draw others too to love and praise and live for you. Amen. And now we hear this story of the Ascension from Acts chapter 1, verses 7 to 11. Jesus said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So Jesus commissions his disciples to be his witnesses, beginning from where they are and moving out to the ends of the earth. That commission is ours today. Today, we should not feel it as a burden, but receive it as a, an incredible privilege. Hear how Christina Rossetti described this commissioning that, that had been given to the disciples. They do his will, and doing it rejoice, patiently glad to spend and to be spent. Still he speaks to them, still they hear his voice and are content. For as a cloud received him from their sight, so with a cloud will he return ere long. Therefore they stand on guard by day, by night, strenuous and strong. They do, they dare, they behold seven times seven forgive. They cry God's almighty word aloud, yet sometimes haply lift tired eyes to heaven. Is that his cloud? So let us now bow our heads in prayer. God, our Father, we pray for your blessings upon our churches of South Leytonstone. Help us to see the kind of church you need today and tomorrow. May we not forget the varied needs of our congregations. Help us to encourage our younger Christian family in their commitment to grow in their love and knowledge of you. Help us, together, as a church family, to live your kingdom of justice, mercy, truth, and compassion, and complete the work you have commissioned us all to do. And Lord, make us grateful people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those living in fear. Lord, we pray before you, your people who are weary with the relentless struggle to stay alive and be safe. For those who can never look forward to a nurturing meal, clean water, a comfortable bed, or the freedom to worship you as they wish. 
those who live in constant danger from war, atrocities and disease. Lord, we ask you to sustain them and bring them peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, show us how best we can help our younger generation face the difficulties and disappointments so many are now facing. We bring before you all young people whose lives are deeply affected by the disruption of COVID-19. Help us to provide homes of love, trust, safety and security, and ways to patiently support them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we are in Mental Health Awareness Week. We pray for people who are frightened because they are ill, facing surgery or fear the pandemic. We pay, pray for people known to us, grappling with the effects of peer pressure, worrying about safety options for returning to work. We remember all who are finding lockdown a source of anxiety and mental discomfort. Lord, give them courage and hope and the knowledge that you are present in their lives. We pray especially for those who have no one to help them. Make them known to us and may they know that you are with them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for the many who are mourning the loss of a loved one or even several known to them. And we bring before you all those who have recently died. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And the modern collect for today. Risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us seek and serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side, where you reign with the Spirit in glory, now and for ever. Amen. Looking for the kingdom of, of our Lord, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So here now an excerpt from the Reverend Malcolm Guite's poem, Ascension. We saw him go, and yet we were not parted. He took us with him to the heart of things. The heart that broke for all the broken-hearted is whole and heaven-centred now and sings. Sings in the strength that rises out of weakness. Sings through the clouds that veil him from our sight. Whilst we were ourselves become his clouds of witness and sing the waning darkness into light, his light in us and ours in him concealed, which all creation waits to see revealed. Let us recite together verse four of Immortal Invisible. Great Father of glory, pure Father of light, Thine angels adore thee, all veiling their sight. O oh Lord, we would render, O oh help us to see, tis only the splendour of light hideth thee. Well, if you are finding lockdown is becoming wearisome, perhaps you might like to join me in my daily practice of three good things. At the end of each day, I like to reflect upon three things that have probably been the best moments of the day. 
and I give thanks to God for them. Now, no spoilers, but our service on Sunday will reflect this theme of ascension still further, so I hope you'll tune in. And I wish you a day filled with Ascension Day joy. And so, the conclusion of our morning prayer. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Goodbye. See you very soon.